Note and identify approximate vegetation. Record code in analysis grid on clipboard. I'm going to have to identify the plants the traps are hanging next to? Yikes. Oh no, the microscope lens is broken. How am I going to do all that frass sorting stuff without a microscope? Hmm, maybe I should go see Dr. Craven again. Your business, please. Hi, I'd like to see Dr. Craven. Dr. Craven isn't seeing anybody right now, so just back your car up, turn around, and leave. No, no, Dr. Craven will see me. Really, just call him, please. <sighs> Dr. Craven? What? The young lady who... Dr. Craven, it's me, Nancy Drew. I know you're busy, but I really enjoyed talking to you before. Could I come in just for a few minutes? Let her in. Somewhat to my surprise, I find that I actually don't mind talking to you. You see, I have a niece back in Philadelphia who's just about your age. Nice girl. Spunky. Insisted on majoring in English or sociology or some such drivel, but a very bright girl nonetheless. Unfortunately, her father, my brother, and I don't get along, so I... I don't get to see her anymore. Anyway, what can I do for you? I need a microscope lens to complete this job Dr. Kim gave me, only hers is broken. Do you have one I could use? Of course, but I'm not running a charity here. If you want it, you'll have to earn it. The plants down below need to be fertilized. Think you could handle that? You bet. Good. Here's the key to the enclosure housing the plants I want fertilized. Don't even think about leaving before you're finished. They need to be fed now. If you make an error, it will be immediately apparent, and needless to say, I will be extremely upset. Got it. Looks like I need a special key. That should do it. What is it now? I fertilize those plants. Good job. The microscope lens is yours. Anything else? I should go. This has been a real honor. Yes, well, the bugs await. Go. Yes? He did what? No, 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 no! Those seedlings were irreplaceable! How could anyone be that stupid? Oh, tell me his name. Well, you tell Mr. Fighterman that he is fired. If he isn't off the premises in two minutes, I will come out there and throw him over the fence myself. Yikes.
looks like this has a built-in scale. I can use that little built-in scale to weigh the frass. So, if I were this plant, what would I be called? Quigley? So what are your findings? Tell me. Actually, I'm not quite finished doing all that clipboard stuff yet. Then what'd you call me down here for? Did you feel that earthquake? Of course I felt it. It was like an invisible freight train went by. Have you felt earthquakes like that here before? This island has not one, but two active or semi-active volcanoes on it, Kilauea and Mauna Loa. The more magma you got moving around down there, the more earthquakes you're gonna have. I felt dozens since I've been here. Little ones, that is. The last one was relatively big, but nothing to worry about. Have you heard about Kane Okala? <laughs> of course I have. Last time I went into town for my weekly mango shave ice, all people could talk about was how Kane Okala was spotted doing this, or he was heard doing that. Do you think there's any truth to what they're saying? Not one iota. Well, I'll let you get back to your wasps. Good. Ta-ta! <laughs>
Hello? Frank? Oh, hi, it's Nancy. Sorry, guess I expected Joe to answer. Well, as it happens, Joe's at the clinic getting treated for a concussion. What? What happened? Someone jumped him while he was poking around Big Island Mike's Immersion Center. Just after he left that message for you, in fact. Turned around and wham! Gets knocked unconscious by someone swinging a big wooden mask. Is he gonna be okay? He'll be fine. The doctors are just doing their usual observation thing. Joe knows the drill. So what's going on with you? Well, let's see. Phew! This Quigley lady sounds like she's gonna be a real taskmaster. Anything I can do to help? I could use some help identifying some of the plants that the frass jars are hanging next to. I'll take a look around here, see what kind of information I can dig up. I'll let you know what I find out. Great. That's it for now. Talk to you later. Frank, how's your brother? You back from the clinic yet? No, they wanted to keep him under observation for a while. But he'll be fine. Joe's nothing if not hard-headed. Any idea who clobbered him? Like I told the cops, probably just some bum who wandered in off the beach looking for cash. The guy didn't look like a bum to Joe. I thought he said the guy was wearing a mask. No, he said all he saw was a mask. But he got a look at the guy's sandals. You know, just before he blacked out. Said they were Duro soles. Expensive brand. Look, whoever the guy was, he's no richer, I'm no poorer. He's gone, I'm here, no big deal. Well, except for your brother getting walloped like that. Do the police have any leads? Nah, real low priority case for them. The one guy I talked to barely looked around. But hey, you wanna look around? Play detective like on TV? You go right ahead. Is this your pawn ticket? I found it over there. Never seen it before. Then maybe it belonged to the guy who clobbered Joe. Or maybe it's been lying there for weeks. The guy who cleans this place doesn't exactly keep it spotless. Namely, me. Good talking to you. Catch you later. Hey, Frank. How's Joe doing? He's okay. But he'd feel a lot better if he knew who attacked him like that. I have no idea who that guy was or what he was up to. Nothing like that's ever happened to a guest before, ever. You're not gonna, like, sue us or anything, are you? Nah. Oh, that's a relief. I'll check back with you later. Sounds good. Hey, what's going on? That was some argument you and your dad had. You heard us? I think everyone within 10 square miles heard you. My dad can act like such a loser sometimes. So can mine. But what did your dad do? Let's talk about something else, okay? Guess I'll get out of your hair. Let me know when you want to try surfing again. Hey, what's going on? I couldn't help but overhear you and Pua arguing earlier. Anything serious? Father-daughter stuff. No big thing. Forget about it. Kinda reminded me of some of the fights Joe and I have had. I said forget about it!
Shop, this is Davey. I found a receipt from your shop that somebody dropped. I'd kind of like to find that person, so I just wondered if you could maybe tell me who you wrote it out to. Sure, what's the number? It's receipt number 57441. Hi, Gordon. That depends on why you're asking. Turns out the stuff I bought off of him was stolen. Cops are looking for this guy too. Name's Johnny Kuto. Apparently he's got a pretty nice career going for him as a freelance thief. Address he gave me turned out to be bogus. Gave me a cell phone number too, but he never picks up. Think you could give me Kuto's phone number? Got it right here. 808-555-9258. Good luck getting him to return your call. What kind of stuff did Kudo sell to you? Laptop, digital camera, and a PDA. Police said it was smaller than the stuff he usually goes after. Probably just needed some pocket change. What did you mean when you said Kudo is a freelance thief? You tell him what you want, he'll steal it for you. For a price. Cops say he's pretty good. Think he's stolen everything from microchips to airplane parts. Do you have any idea why Johnny Kudo would be hanging around a business called... Big Island Mike's Immersion Excursions? Police mentioned that he's uh, always looking for places to hide what he steals until it's safe to deliver it. Maybe somebody at this excursion thing is helping him out. Hey, I really appreciate your help. Hey, no problem. Good luck to you, mate. The person you have called is not available. At the tone, please leave a message. Hey, Johnny. You don't know me, but you know my brother. He's the one you slugged when you were at Big Island Mike's. I know what you two have been up to. So if you're smart, you'll give me a call. 280-555-7263. Hey, Nancy, it's Frank. Hi, were you able to dig up any info on plants? You betcha. Great, let's hear it. Well... The Poo Hala tree is about 30 feet tall with long leaves and support roots. The Hala Pepe tree has smooth gray bark and long skinny leaves. The Aali'i plant has small green leaves and distinctive purple clusters. The Koa tree is very tall with sickle-shaped leaves. The Wheelie Wheelie tree drops its leaves, then blooms in the summer. Now Paka is a shrub with white flowers that look like they've been torn in half. The Kalu'i is a shrub with fuzzy oval-shaped leaves. The banana plant has huge leaves and bears, ta-da, bananas. The candlenut tree is bushy with clusters of tiny white flowers that develop into green nut-like jobs. And Myconia, boo, is an extremely invasive tree with big leaves that are green on top and purple on the bottom and have three veins. Okay, anything else you want to know? Uh, no, not right now. Good. How about I talk to you later? Deal. Yoo-hoo! Quigley! What? Well, I'll let you get back to your wasps. See you later.
Look at all those webs. I wonder what made them, and why are there so many? Wonder what the deal is with this guy, and what's with all the animals on his teeth? I can't go anywhere. I haven't inserted the clipboard into that formula machine thing yet. Wonder what this thing does. One hundred nineteen thousand four hundred fifty six. All right. the deal is with all those webs at Kapu Cave. Don't worry, they were made by Norsa Beta larvae, not arachnids. I mean, spiders. I'm not sure why they like that cave so much. Must have something to do with their food supply. Oh, I was just curious. I'll get back to work. Quigley, can I talk to you? Well? All through. I think. Don't tell me. Don't tell me. Okay, tell me. Well, the number your formula machine came up with was 119,456. <laughs> yes, yes, it really is true. I've stumbled upon the biggest bloom of Norsa Beta larva ever recorded. We're going to be famous, Nancy, and with any luck, rich as heck. Way to go. Thank you. I just wish I knew what you were talking about. You just confirmed that for some reason, the Norsa Beta Odorata in this area, maybe on the whole island, are reproducing at an unheard of rate. What are Norsa Beta Odorata? It's a kind of moth, and to have it suddenly be producing ten times more larvae than usual, it's huge! Nothing like this has ever happened before, anywhere! 
It's as if you woke up one morning and found a thousand baby robins in your front yard. It just doesn't happen. Okay, you've confirmed what is happening. Now we need to figure out why it's happening. You need to analyze the contents of those frass jars. The notes on my clipboard will tell you how to go about it. We need to know what all those Norse beta caterpillars have been eating. Uh, you mean the stuff in those jars is, I mean, came from caterpillars? Of course, they're frass jars. But before you start your analysis, you need to get a sample of whatever it is that Malachi Craven is secretly growing up there at the Healy Healy, even if it means sneaking in. See if that's what those caterpillars have been eating. Something big's going on here, Nancy. Let's make history and find out what. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.